Bishop Weiscarver came together when Ray Bishop and my father Bud Weiscarver joined their two companies in 1950. We are located in Pittsburgh, California, and in 1972 we got the patent on Dual V. It's a product my dad designed. It's a 90 degree double angular contact bearing that works on a 90 degree track. We make more than just the components. We have the linear guides, actuated systems, up to full machinery and XYZ gantries. When you look at our products, really what our niche is, it's around harsh and extreme environments. We have been in extreme environments like space, the Hubble telescope, to being out in a really harsh environment like landmine detection. We receive our raw materials from our supply partners. We bring the raw material in from these suppliers. At that point, the, the overall shape of the dual V track is in its net shape essentially. Uh, materials are checked in-house by our quality team to ensure that they conform to our uh, stated requirements. Once that's complete, those materials are released to the production process. And then dual V track production includes the initial process which would be hardening of the material as well as marking of the material with our company specific information. And then that would be followed by straightening of the material. Straightening is a bit of a misnomer. We're not necessarily targeting a perfectly straight track. We're actually looking to place a slight crown in the material. That's specifically done because the material may be in storage for a period of time, whether it be here waiting for downstream processing or in transit to a customer. There can be some relaxation. As that material relieves over time, it'll tend to relieve back closer to the, the straight state. And at that point, the material would be ready for polishing of the V running surface after polishing, the material is essentially ready for any downstream processing, which would include things like cut-to-length orders or a large portion of what we do, or custom tracks drilled to specific requirements given to us by our customers. With a low pro system, you've got a fixed set of track. With a wheel plate, you have four wheels, two concentric, two eccentric for the fit-up adjustment, and you can drive that through a belt a lead screw, a ball screw, or a chain. For our low pro assembly, we'll start with the track plate as far as machining operations are concerned. A lot of times it's really cutting and there's some milling to get to the precision length involved for the customer's specified travel. Other components would include the drive either in. Those start off life in either raw aluminum bar form or steel bar materials. Um, typically, there's uh, an initial sawing process involved in getting the parts to their blank length state. And then downstream processing from there would be any number of machining processes in-house. We have the wheel plate or the carriage plate. The wheels themselves are captive to a specific size stud. Those are assembled in our robotic assembly cell uh, and then incorporated into the product. Raw materials are pulled from stock and kitted. The track plate is one of the first things to be processed. The track is delivered from our track production group, assembled to the base, and then from there the rest of the actuator is put together, starting with the wheel plate assemblies, setting preloads, and then incorporating the drive and either end assemblies and drive elements. Final system tuning and tensioning of those elements is done and then it's checked for smooth operation throughout the length of travel. We do incorporate our own in-house crating operations where we're using dimensional lumber in certain cases, especially in the larger systems, to build robust crates that are going to stand up to that handling and transfer. What has been great is to see the birth and growth of our relationship with Motion. We are certified women-owned, working with supplier diversity as well as the corporate accounts and leveraging that aspect gets us into accounts that we don't have enough feet on the street to do. It is reciprocal, we, we buy from Motion as well. It could be that we are performing plant maintenance on a work center, maybe we need to replace a bearing or, or something to that effect. And we do run into situations where maybe we don't have that particular part in-house. It's 
useful to us, we can go to Motion's website or you know, we have a local branch here uh, in Concord that's not too far away. We can typically get a, a part pretty quickly for that. And I could buy materials anywhere, but with Motion, they tend to carry quality brands. So those types of things are where we really work and use Motion to our advantage. Thank you.